In this example, we'll begin by acting as a staff member at the practice, filling out an online request on behalf of a patient who's called the practice because they're unable to access the internet. We'll log into the dashboard using our unique username and password, accept the disclaimer, and then arrive on the dashboard homepage. We'll navigate to the menu and select patient forms. And here we'll see a list of all online forms available on the website. And we'll select get help for any health problem and fill out the details of the patient as they've been provided to us. We then submit the request and we'll see a record has been created within the dashboard. And this can now be triaged as any other patient rec generated request to the appropriate staff member. In this case, we'll assign this request directly to the doctors for them to review and call the patient back as they will not have access to their emails. We'll open the request, select the assign option and select the doctors group and add a brief note to let them know to call the patient back. The request will then update to show it's been assigned. Now we'll take the place of a doctor member of staff who logs into the dashboard using their unique username and password, accepting the disclaimer. And here we can see the get help form immediately visible in our work list. It's also visible in the new request list, which can be seen by everyone who logs into the dashboard and shows every form that's submitted via the foundation website. However, the practice has set up a group of doctor staff users that requests can be manually assigned to ad hoc. We're a member of this group, so we can see the get help form in our work list separated from all the other lists, thus making the workflow more efficient. We'll click on the patient name and see the note added by the receptionist, full details of their request, including the request history on the left, proxy details on the right, and the full questionnaire as filled out by the staff member on behalf of the patient. We can now review this request and call the patient on the number provided in the request to review their concerns. And once this is done, we can close the request, making sure to send a copy to the clinical system via the integration, and then record the outcome as closed with a telephone appointment.